brain. In an old house in Paris that was covered with vines, lived twelve little girls in two straight lines. They left the house in two straight lines at half past nine. Bonjour. Merci. The smallest one was Madeline. Merci, Madeline. You're welcome. Hola, señoritas. Pepito lived in the house next door. He was the son of the Spanish ambassador. Buenos dias. <gasps> in three days, the greatest soccer player in the world will be at our house. Hooray! <gasps> Pepe Pelota will be our guest at our dinner on Saturday. Pepe Pelota! Increíble! I cannot wait! He is my hero! <gasps> and do not forget that your cousin Pablito is coming Friday. See, si, On Saturday, my cousin and I will shake the hand of the greatest soccer star in all of Spain and in all the world! Senior Ambassador was vexed by Pepito's sound effects. Pepito, you may not attend our dinner unless your manners improve. But I have to meet Senor Pelota. I am sorry, Pepito. Not while you have the manners of a pig instead of a boy. When Madeline went walking by, she thought she saw Pepito cry. Pepito, what is wrong? Pepe Pelota is coming to dinner at our house on Saturday. The famous soccer star? You should be happy. See, si, but... Pepito then tried to explain good manners he had to attain to meet the soccer star from Spain. Oh. I can help improve your manners, Pepito. You can? Oui. I will talk to the other girls. They can help, too. Pepito agreed to come for tea, so the girls could teach him courtesy. Hurry! Pepito will be here any moment. Hola, Madeline. Pepito arrived at a quarter past two, eager to learn the right things to do. Buenas tardes, muchachas. Good afternoon, girls. As soon as they all took their seats, Miss Clavel brought in bread and sweets. But when it was time to break their bread, an argument broke out instead. Mmm. <sniffs> Nicole, it is not polite to start eating before everyone is served. Sorry. Achoo! Yuck! That is disgusting. Sneeze on your own cupcake. <gasps> oh. Huh. Mm. Huh? <laughs> girls, girls. This is no way to teach good manners. Oh, I am sorry, Miss Clavel. I'm afraid we have made a mess. I'm afraid I will never learn good manners. Do not despair, Pepito. I have another idea. Madeline, remember this morning when the boy handed this to you? Oui, Miss Clavel. But what is it? It is an ad for l'école Merci Beaucoup. A school named Thank You Very Much? Oui, Madeline. It is a school for learning good manners. It says, Mademoiselle Etiquette can teach anyone to be polite in just two days. Sign up tonight. Si, vamonos. Miss Clavel dialed Danton 1064 and spoke with Senora Ambassador. She told her about the two-day class, which Pepito, of course, would pass. 
Sí, Miss Clavel. Muchas gracias. Pepito's parents both agreed, and they even guaranteed. Whoever passes can come to dinner definitely. Yay! The next day was their rendezvous at the school. Merci beaucoup. You can come, too. <laughs> the teacher had hair piled high as a tower, and way up on top, she wore a red flower. Bonjour. I am Mademoiselle Etiquette. <gasps> it is not polite to stare. My, what a wimpy aid cup. Today, we will learn why good manners are so important. Ooh, I know, I know. You must first raise your hand and wait to be called on. Those are good classroom manners. I am sorry, mademoiselle. Oh, bien, good. Saying you are sorry when you make a mistake is good manners. Now, do continue. Different parts of the world, people observe different kinds of manners. <laughs> Merci, ma pet. <laughs> Who knows what this is? Who can tell me what I have here? Nicole? That's the can of oil. I use some on my bicycle when my brakes get stuck. Oui. A few drops of oil can make things run smoothly. Well, good manners can make things go smoothly, too. The world can turn without manners, but with a few drops of good manners, see how smoothly the world goes wrong. Ah, oui. It is true. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please. <laughs> Children! We are sorry, Miss Clavel. Merci, ma petite chienne, my little dog. These lessons are not going well, thought the weary mademoiselle. She tried to teach the way to greet and to be polite to those they meet. But no matter how the children tried, something seemed to go awry. Huh? <laughs> what? So on that day of manners class, Genevieve alone did pass. Well done, ma chérie. The day had not gone as expected. The children rode home feeling dejected. Pepito was the most affected. I will never learn to be polite. To this, Madeline said, Poo poo. Then she realized what to do. Hmm. To learn something new takes practice. That evening, the girls broke their bread. We love our bread, we love our butter, but most of all, we love each other. They brushed their teeth, but did not go to bed. They went to the attic, but not to play, but to practice what they'd learned that day. I am ready to practice. Voila. When someone introduces you to people you've not met, there is a simple formula that you must not forget. You need to look them in the eye and smile a little smile and say the words that show them that you have a lot of style. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. I'm happy for the chance to get to greet you. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. That you must learn next to sit to 
understand Involves a little shaking with the warm and friendly hand That is the case with normal folk with formal folk you bow Of courtesy if you are a girl I bet you get it now Polite when meeting someone new And through your life the rules won't change You'll know just what to do So let's review what we have learned So easy to apply You shake their hands, perhaps you bow You look them in the eye Pleased to meet you Pleased to meet you I'm happy for the chance to get to meet you Pleased to meet you Pleased to meet you Pleased to meet you Yeah, children, you certainly have learned to say hello, but now it is time to say good night. The next day, the teacher received a surprise. Bonjour. Buenos dias. So polite were her students. They brought tears to her eyes. Things were much better than they had been before. Napkin like so. Merci. And the silverware like so, ma petite. They were now more attentive and not quite as rude. We sit like so. Elbows on tables, they learned, are quite crude. Nicole. And they learned not to speak with a mouthful of food. They learned to wait patiently, each in a seat, till they all had been served. Then it's all right to eat. Uh, uh, choo! They learned to use hankies if they had to sneeze and resist the temptation to play with their peas. So much they discovered. Uh! Now the students were able to remember to never reach over the table. Would you pass the butter, please? They no longer seemed like they lived in a stable. Merci. Congratulations, children. Their etiquette now, so much better by far. A diploma was given to each with a star. Gracias. Mama, Papa, I graduated. Oh, how wonderful. Now you and your friends can come to our dinner on Saturday. Your cousin is waiting upstairs. Ay, Pablito. Pablito. <laughs> <laughs> Buenos tardes, Madeline. Pablito. Uh-oh. What is wrong, Madeline? <laughs> Pablito, who used to be a very bad hat. Remember? Here, chicken! <laughs> hey, Madeline, who could forget? That boy had the worst manners. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope that Pablito does not make Pepito forget his good manners. <laughs> Wee, that would be terrible. Pablito could spoil everything for Pepito, and he has worked so hard. Girls, come inside and go back to bed. Madeline worried, although well she knew there wasn't a lot that she could do. Why do you keep looking at the diploma, Pepito? Oi, it is just a piece of paper. See, but I am proud of it. When I meet Pepe Pelota, he will notice my excellent manners. I even know how to meet royalty. Ha! So what? Soccer players are not kings. They do not care about good manners. Whoa! Aha! They are tough. 
especially Pepe Palota. Look at this. <gasps> He's spitting on another player. See, I told you he does not care about manners. You can show off your fancy manners, cousin, not I. I am going to uh, show off my best soccer moves. Ole! In the middle of the night, Madeline could not sleep tight. She knew something was not right. <gasps> I knew that bad hat was trouble. Pepito, Pepito! Shh! You will wake everyone up! See, and I suppose that would be very bad manners. Pablito does not think that good manners are very important, Madeline. That is what I was afraid of. Who needs good manners? Not I! <laughs> ay, ay, ay. What would happen if everyone in the whole world had bad manners, Pablito? It would be fun! I do not think so. Without good manners, everyone would want to go first in line. Going places could get dangerous. It would be hard to get a taxi. Or to see a movie. It could even be hard to see a soccer game. Someone might take your seats. Hmm. Hey! Buenos noches. Good night, senorita. Then you will have good manners at the dinner tomorrow? We? Oui? Yes? Mm, perhaps. Madeline would have to wait and see if the boys <laughs> behave <laughs> with courtesy. The whole next day, the girls got dressed. Merci. Skirts were pleated. Dresses pressed. <laughs> As Madeline wondered, would things go well? They went next door and rang the bell. People well, came from evening. near Please and far in. to meet Pepe Pelota, the soccer star. Oh. There were crackers, cheese, and caviar. Delicious soccer ball I've ever tasted. Signor Pelota, my name is Madeline, and I am very pleased to meet you. And I am pleased to meet you, Senorita Madeline. And you, little one. Very nice, Madeline. Won't you introduce me to your friend? Signor Pelota, this is Miss Etiquette. How do you do, Signor? How do you... Ah. Oh, my! Oh, excuse me. Hey, allow me. Here you are, senorita. Merci. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the dear. girls held their breath oh, and bit their nails happen. as they watched the bad hat in tie and tails. I am happy to meet you, senor Pelota. What is this? My photo! Uh-oh. I was hoping you would autograph this picture for me. Uh, please, that is. Oh, this picture was taken years ago. See, si, you were very tough. See, si, and not very smart. I had very bad manners. Spitting at another player got me into a lot of trouble. Trouble? Did you have to go to jail? <laughs> no. No, but I got thrown out of the game. And because of that, my team lost. You mean even in soccer you have to have good manners? Clara, of course. I tell you what, my friend. I will sign your hat instead. Oh, gracias. It looks as if the bad hat has been turned into a good hat for good. The children ate by candlelight, all exceedingly polite. Buenas noches. It turned out to be a perfect night. 
When almost every guest was gone, the children went out to the lawn. And played soccer till the light of dawn. They didn't mind the cold and damp as they scrimmaged with the soccer champ. Gracias, Senor Pelota. It was a pleasure meeting you. And thank you for playing with us. Gracias, mis amigos. Y adios. Good manners deserve the highest score. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. Then you should get to know me. I'll teach you 